my friends i know it's kind of weird i'm in the kitchen right now i supposed to show you guys uh, <laughs> uh i supposed to be in the either in the garage or or doing a running video so uh i'm in the kitchen because uh today i'm going to show you guys how to paint a body i know it's been a long time i didn't uh, upload a video like couple of months because i was studying and stuff you know with college and stuff it's very hard to do uh, so uh, the other reason I'm doing inside the inside the kitchen is my outside tap that uh, it, it's operated in from inside the main line inside the house so my dad closed it uh, because we don't use it uh, for now because it's uh, kind of like you know it's it's uh, it's gonna be winter <laughs> so we don't use it to water plants and stuff yeah no no garden stuff you know these days so <laughs> okay so first what you're gonna do most of the people know what i'm gonna do first for any any rc body when you paint it you're just gonna use one of these just gonna use one of these and scrub it all scrub it first i mean like while you washing it that's how i do it mostly i first put the soap Ooh, look at that, eh? <laughs> I know it is hand soap. Yep, you can use any any kind of soap. Doesn't matter. Sorry, guys. I have um, since I'm doing it by single-handed. I mean, like by myself. It's kind of hard to. Come on, camera. Focus, focus, focus. All right. Ah, hold on a sec, guys. Hold on a sec. Go set up the camera one of my lunch boxes on top of lunch boxes probably it won't fall probably yeah okay so some people usually scrub it first and then then they're gonna wash it some people wash it then they scrub then they again uh, use one of these uh, cleaners not these like a bearing cleaner or something and then just like wipe it down either way I'm gonna go like this I tell you why we scrub it actually because it would uh, so this way the paint to the body it will stuck nicely it will like it won't be scratched when we when we do like this it won't get scratched and it will nicely uh, uh, stick to the plastic uh, Lexan body let's talk about this uh, body this is a, a Subaru uh, 2004 uh, sorry Tamiya Subaru 2004 Mexico body 2004 Mexico they call it Mexico I okay however this is a Subaru rally car body uh, the thing the good thing about it is I don't have to buy the whole kit and because my you know my uh, hobby shop person my hobby shop person helped me and just not help me he just uh, gave me only the body such a nice guy eh uh because i'm their regular customer so they know he knows that i i was i've been waiting for one of these bodies to arrive so he gave me he just took it out from the tamiya box and he just gave me the whole the whole body set uh stickers stickers obviously and he gave me the wheels that's the special thing the wheels are very beautiful i will show you the guys wheels uh, later on when we running when we doing a running video when i'm doing a running video uh, because it's in my room right now <laughs> actually i choose uh, to do paint video today because it's not it's been uh, cold last few weeks but not today today is a uh, good weather so yeah so we're gonna uh, scrub like this a little bit not too hard just a little bit then we're gonna wash it then i will see you in the garage all right so i washed the body now what you're gonna do take some paper towels obviously <laughs> but clean it very properly like clean it until the water gets uh water go water gone because the easiest way okay before i skip uh before i do it off camera use one of these like hand sanitizers because it I'm using not because of this uh, corona, not because of this, this is corona time. <laughs> I'm using it <laughs> just in order to, uh, for everybody I do this. 
in order to um, remove the water this this way after you wipe it just put one of put a little bit of few drops then wipe it down nicely uh, it would help actually to evaporate the um, water especially in these corners and stuff it will be all evaporated and then again wipe it down it would uh, really help i found it if you don't want it it's not a major requirement i mean not uh, not like uh, you don't have to do it just if you wanted to you can do it yep all right you guys see uh, i put some of these hand sanitizer right now uh, now i'm gonna wipe it down so it's it's kind of very hard i wish uh, my sister was here so i could show you guys how i wipe down like uh, what i do from beginning to end uh, so yep so i'm gonna do it off camera all right guys so yes so you guys see it's nice and dry okay uh, i forgot to mention you guys uh, when you're using the tissues like these are uh, pep towels don't use those uh, dust ones you know so it will leave the dust in the body and it will show show up because since this one is like a i know i got it for cheap <laughs> uh, i got this body and the, all the wheels for 80 dollars and i'm using it as my uh, into my tt02d uh drift car but i don't i usually i'm not a drift person i'm a, like a rally cars like those off-road cars those guys you guys maybe know what i mean to actually probably because you guys seen my videos so yep so yeah so uh <laughs> sorry um yeah if you're doing that if you are, if you guys doing that so always be careful about the tissues and especially these areas you guys see these kind of areas yeah always whoa, whoa whoa clean it properly clean it properly that's why i use that uh hand sanitizer it actually helps see it is so dry and it it gives a very shiny looking uh it gives a very shiny okay now let's go for the painting part i'm good i'm using the recommended uh color for the this kind of body i'm using ps16 uh metallic blue this has a little bit shiny color as well you guys see yeah a little bit shiny dust let me see now where can i all right i think this would be a good angle for you guys i'm not sure if you guys can see uh-oh -uh. yep i have to buy a tripod so it could be it would be much easier okay uh remove the paint So we're not gonna use uh, for people who uh, I'm just telling telling most of these uh, for people who are actually like new to painting this. Always shake, shake, shake. Always shake it. Yeah. <laughs> so shake. And uh, I'm actually not drilling uh, any holes to this uh, body. That's why I mark it down. This is uh, these are magnets. I got it from electronic shop. These are not magnets. These are the these are where they are replacing here so in this body so i don't have to you know think twice just stick the stick the uh magnets and don't touch inside area after you did everything because you have sweats and stuff you don't know there are different particles in there <laughs> like uh, more uh, like uh, there could be anything you know so don't touch it after you dry and because it looks so nicely first coat you're not gonna go like spray all the way first before you do anything just a little bit spray it up okay spray it outside before you do anything then you can check if it is spray nicely okay now we're gonna i kept a paper towel down there uh, a wet paper towel so it doesn't go anywhere let's see if it doesn't first you're gonna go very lightly Just lightly okay you're not gonna go all whole thing I'm not a professional uh, 
paint here. I have to tell you that. Just wait until it. Uh, okay. So first coat. Just wait. Uh, just wait until it dries. Now for the second coat. So you have to get everything in every area, but again slowly you're not gonna go fast then it could be one side heavy one side is more darker one side is like less paint or maybe you feel you will see the drops are dripping the the paint drops are dripping so you're gonna go very slowly take it easy and uh, uh, don't do it very hurriedly I know people like to do stuff very uh, fast and stuff but it not it's not gonna work all the time so one side first always go like this don't spray one side okay just one one spot mm -hmm. so i went there okay i have to tell you every time shake okay so this is not e it's easy for people who have painted sometimes it makes you know it's difficult not difficult you know paint paint always uh first time always is not correct remember that for anything first time is not always correct that's why you have to have little bit of experience i will show you in a bit how did i paint my honda civic terrible that was like two three years ago i'm new to the I'm new to painting and stuff. See, slowly take it slowly. Otherwise, see, it will be one dark, one dark, one side dark. Now for the rear, see, it's not painted. So now we're gonna take it. Ooh, it's coming nicely. Uh oh, see, I so say you have to be careful okay now we're gonna leave it a little bit okay so now we're gonna leave it a little bit yeah so as i mentioned before this is how i how i terribly painted see this side is very dark this is white it's very hard to see and this side is very light so when i go for the light when i go for the light See, this side I can see transparency, but this side, lightly. You guys see? That's that's where the paint drips. Too much paint. Uh, let me try to give you an example. Like here, right here. You guys see the difference? Right in this spot and the other. See? You will see it. You don't see it from outside, but you feel terrible after you've done your job. <laughs> okay. Now we did our second layer, right? I think. Uh, wait, how many layers? All right, now again you're gonna shake and uh, shake, shake, shake. Then again you're gonna go for the third coat. All right. Now try to a little bit like go twistly so you guys can cover everything. As I mentioned before, don't over spray. Go like smoothly, like this, like this. This is the movement. All right. Now for the other side. Now go for the front, like this. Uh, see a uh, little bit more it's all right but uh, you have to do what I want to do so yep sometimes some areas doesn't cover up I, I would say like it would it have to be covering up sorry guys uh, sometimes I'm not sure if you guys can see just wait, just wait, just wait. doing it by self without any tripods or anything just using the phone it's very hard 
no technology that much <laughs> yeah so yeah so uh sometimes it doesn't cover middle and stuff so actually this uh job is very easy because uh you don't have to cover this you know uh, windows and stuff like in this body like in this body this body was much easier but this body was very hard most of them are 90 percent of this car is covered with stickers all right not the it's still in the third uh, coat okay spray don't over spray now we're going for the rear go for the sides look at this guys it's coming out nice okay so that's our fourth layer now you know uh, still left because it's still left because of uh, it still look transparency apparently what I'm gonna do after this coat it should look like this then it would be done until then I'm gonna paint it and I'm gonna show you guys still uh, so after that probably as a cover coating area I'm gonna use maybe a different color like a black or something so it won't be transparent I'm not sure but I will tell you all right uh, some of you feel maybe bored because uh, I'm not showing you the exact way so it came out pretty nicely guys so I did the third one I still have to do more because see it shows too much transparent and I don't like <laughs> uh, I don't know if it is gonna turn out good but I'm sure it is gonna be turn out good let's see now it's our which coat is it fourth coat all right i'm gonna i'm showing you with the details because i really don't want to miss you so don't want to miss you means like my details i think probably this would be helpful please leave a comment uh, if this is helpful oh shake 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 i forget as well Yeah, buddy, it's coming nice. <laughs> okay, now this time, since I'm done, almost done, I'm going this way. All right. So it would, uh, it would take the always do some preparations. You could go this way, this way. So in the last one, I always, always I went this way now. So I'm going this way in order to not to miss any spot. So first, I'm gonna go like this. I just went like this. All cover all the spots while you're going like this. So I came up to here, to the layer. Some people would tell me, why is he doing like this? You could paint it like normally. But I would say, uh, try my direction one time. Then you guys will, <laughs> probably, probably. I'm not saying I'm a professional, all right? I told you before. If I'm a professional, I wouldn't paint single. I would do some designs and stuff if I'm a paint professional. I've seen many professionals in my uh, in Facebook and stuff. Those people, I don't know how they do it. Very nice. I'm just like a normal person who just paint RC cars. That's it. Not paint them, just like, you know. <laughs> just sharing what I know. Then you could, uh, if you, if I'm doing any mistakes, then you can just teach me. This is what you have to do. Then I would be accepted. I would really happy to accept those, uh, whatever you guys 
so see I think uh, four coats probably enough that's why I'm doing this now now try to take the can a little bit closer not too much close like this but a little bit apart all right but be careful see I drip a little bit just a tiny bit not too much not like uh, when when I used to do the Honda Civic oh. it's coming out nice guys I'm sorry guys I you guys wouldn't be able to see what I'm exactly doing what I'm doing is like this and see it looks super nice Now for the front, tell you guys see a little bit different. Now for these areas, oh, I would say <laughs> this is the very successful job I did. <laughs> I don't know until I remove this little uh, cover, right? This uh, outside polythene cover. So. When I remove it, I will see the beautifulness of it. So, yeah, you don't have to paint these areas, I have to say, because it's gonna cover up with the, with my stickers. But anyways, I'm gonna, just a little bit, especially in the top, because the sun reflects to the right on the top. It had to be nicely done. Yeah. Try not to breathe these actually. I'm feeling headache because <laughs> I should wear a mask and I'm doing inside. Uh, let me a little bit open the door so I could get some air and stuff. Actually, this paint looks so works so great. I mean, the for the body it looks pretty awesome. Damn! Wow, it's actually good. Almost done. <laughs> Oh, I can use some uh, nail removers from my mom or my sisters. <laughs> yeah, I'll use one of those. Or I would use uh, nitro. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'm using uh, anyway, uh, nail polish. So I'm just going to wash it out. Just wash it out. That's it. All right, let's see. Ooh. I can't touch the body, but I'm going to touch lightly like this. Uh, scared to touch it. Look at this, guys. I think it's probably gave you some idea how to paint a body in a nice way, right? Uh, for a beginner, I would say this information would be really helpful. For some people, it would be very, very boring because some people already know how to paint this stuff. Some people know better than me, actually. Start giving a little bit few more coats. Oh, Mr. Spot. Yep. And the other thing is, guys, don't be scared when you're painting and stuff. Don't actually get scared. How much paint I have? Little bit I have. So don't get scared when you paint and stuff. Okay. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm just waiting to dry it out. Then I'm gonna remove the cover and show it to you. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Did it became nice? Ah. Da da. Da, just wait just wait before the drum rolls come on where can I get that polythene cover off oh. hold on oh no come on 
Ah, it's very hard to remove the whole wrap. Oh my god, this looks pretty cool for me. I don't know how about what you guys think, but wow, giving the realistic look. Wow, imagine, guys, I'm not gonna remove the whole thing because I still have the body post to post and stuff. Oh my god, what do you guys think? Let me on the comment below. It gives the shiny look on the paint. I would say this is the best job I have ever done from painting actually. Wow, wow, wow. I, I wouldn't say this one is not a not a bad. This, uh, this is also a, one of the best of mine. <laughs> uh, this one, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but I did a great, a great painting for these people because that depends on my... This is my first painting body, so this one I'm always gonna keep it in myself because that's the first uh, painting I uh, did for this car. I love that body still. And this, look at to look at, okay, let me see the comparison. <laughs> okay, look at this. From here, to, I know this is old. Now it is like five years old. Look at here to here. Obviously, it used to be like this when I'm painting first. But with the color difference, oh my god, can't wait to run this. Obviously guys, obviously, I'm gonna give you a running video very quickly, very soon. Alright guys, thumbs up, just let me comment below. I know some people, this video would be a very boring video. <laughs> for some people, for some people it would be a great video. Alright, thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe guys. See you.